Hi, I'm Vlad, UI Bakery founder. In this video, I'll show you how to build a simple app for customer support that will allow you to win the list of the users from MySQL database and a list of their transactions that comes from HTTP API. This app will also allow to change the user's billing plan and modify the date when the trial ends. Let's go! In UI Bakery, you can create multiple apps, each containing multiple pages. Now, let's create an app for customer support and build it together. Most of UI Bakery apps start with data sources. You can access your data sources using the data source icon on the left sidebar. Then, you can easily connect a MySQL data source with a couple of clicks. Now I want to add a table that will list my users. I can use a generator for that. UI Bakery can automatically suggest some typical sets of functionalities that it can auto-generate. Great! Now I have a fully connected table that displays my data. Ok, this table looks good, but I also want to give my team the ability to change the plan of the users and extend the end of their trial. I can do that by dragging the detail component inside of the working area and map it to the value of the selected row of my table. Now, let's make some fields in the details card editable. I need to create an action that will update the data in the database based on the ID of the selected row when the value of the details card changes. This action will then trigger load users action that will allow us to load fresh data from the database and refresh the table. As you can see, when I click on the row of the table, the data in the detail component is being updated. Also, when I change the values on the detail card, they are being updated in the MySQL database. Great! Now I have a fully working application that allows me to change the plan of my customer and adjust their trial end. I can deploy it and invite my users to the project. Let's add another feature. Now I want to display a list of transactions of a selected user that I want to get from a different data source. Let's say it's a HTTP API. In this case, I just need to add a HTTP data source. Here, I can specify the headers that will be used across all of the requests to this data source. In my case, it's a security key. Now, when the data source is set up, I just configure an action that will fetch the list of transactions. I can pass the ID of the selected user in table as a query parameter of the HTTP request. And adding another table that displays these transactions. That's it! Now, I also have a list of transactions for each specific user that has been automatically fetched once a new user is selected. Once the app is deployed, my customer success team can start using the latest version. Thank you for your attention and can't wait to see you among UI Bakery community.